Technology in the medical field has rapidly grown with each passing year. X-rays in particular have come a long way since the very beginning. So who, might you ask, was the founder of radiation sciences? A woman by the name of Marie Curie discovered and spent most of her life working with radiochemistry. Marie Curie won a Nobel Prize in both chemistry and physics, as well as discovering never-before-known facts about radiation. She was also the first woman to earn two Nobel Prizes. Marie Curie changed the radiography world forever, and she did this even overcoming the obstacles of being a woman in the 18 to 1900s. Marie Curie's research changed the radiation world as well as the medical field forever. These discoveries led to the beginning of radiography. In 1898, she discovered two new elements. These elements are radium and polonium. She named polonium after her home country, Poland, where she was born and raised. She discovered the effects that radium had with radiation, and this led to the creation of x-ray machines. Although they have evolved, x-ray machines such as MRIs and CAT scans are used today. People use these machines all the time across the world. When you have chronic headaches, you get scans of your brain. When you have internal bleeding, you get scans of your whole body. These x-ray machines are even used to discover tumors that can save lives. X-ray machines in general save lives all of the time. Marie Curie invented the first x-ray machine, and this, she is the reason we have these brilliant machines today. Marie Curie spent most of her life dedicated to her work, and although she loved it, that doesn't mean it was always easy. She faced many challenges that could have discouraged her. In the 18 and 1900s, science was a male-dominant area of study, like many other things in that time period. There were many times that she was falsely accused about her work, and rumors quickly spread. The biggest obstacle of all was the sudden death of her husband, who was also her partner in all of her work. Her husband died suddenly in an accident, and she was left to take care of her two children and her lab without him. She must have done a pretty good job because one of her daughters, Irene, went on to also earn a Nobel Prize in science as well. In every obstacle she faced, she always got through it. Marie Curie was not only an extremely talented scientist, she was also a kind person. She used her work to benefit others. In the start of World War I, she physically went to the treatment centers of the wounded and set up extra machines herself. She knew that these extra machines would help the soldiers that needed it. By the end of the war, millions of soldiers had used these machines. What better way to use your work to benefit others than to help the, the wounded fighting for our country? Marie Curie was a very brave, very passionate, very dedicated woman. She spent her whole life researching and discovering new things. The risk of radiation exposure never stopped her from doing what she loved. She knew the effects of radiation, but that didn't stop her. These effects eventually caught up with her, and it resulted in her death of cancer in 1934. Marie Curie is very important to the medical field because she started radiography. X-rays let doctors see the inside of the body. They also let doctors know exactly what is wrong with the patient. We have Marie Curie to thank for that. Few people know who Marie Curie is, but more people should be aware because she invented X-ray machines and she started radiography. And without those things in the medical field, a lot of doctors would be lost. She played a critical role in the medical field, and she goes relatively unknown about it. Even though her work was done many years ago, it's still important for all of us to know about. Marie Curie will forever be remembered for her brave journey in radiation sciences because she is the reason we are where we are in the medical field today.